Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to solve certain problems based on COD. COD is nothing but chemical oxygen demand. How much oxygen is needed by that impure water or by that sewage water? We'll see that and find the values of it in the sums of today's session. Solve problems on COD. COD is nothing but chemical oxygen demand. A 10 ml of sample of waste water was refluxed with 20 ml of potassium dichromate solution. So over here we have two values. The first value given to us is the 10 ml of the sample of the waste water. That means this is my raw water or the impure water and the quantity of it is 10 ml. And it was refluxed with 20 ml of potassium dichromate solution. So now another quantity I have is potassium dichromate solution which is 20 ml. And after refluxing the excess unreacted dichromate, the required 26.2 ml of 0.1 molar FAS solution. A blank of 10 ml of distilled water on refluxing with 20 ml of dichromate solution required 36 ml of 0.1 molar FAS solution. Calculate the COD value for it. So first we'll see what all is given to us and then we'll calculate COD accordingly. Difference in the volumes of FAS required for the blank and sample solution will be 36 minus 26.2. So from where did we get this 36 and 26.2? From the question, over here they have given us both the values 36 ml and 26.2 ml. So whenever we subtract 36 minus 26.2, we will get it as 9.8 ml. Since 1 liter of 1 molar FAS will always require 8 grams of oxygen, this is the common value, this is the general value which we will be using in almost all questions. 1 liter of 1 molar FAS requires 8 grams of oxygen. How many do we have? We have 9.8 ml because we did 36 minus 26.2. So 9.8 ml of 0.1 molar solution will be what? So again we will multiply 9.8 into 8 into 0 0.1 and then we'll be dividing this by 1 liter so 9.8 into 8 into 0 0.1 and dividing the entire thing by 1 liter which is 1000 ml we get the answer as 7.84 into 10 raised to minus 3 of oxygen for 10 ml sample so oxygen required for 1000 ml of wastewater is 0 0.784 grams and this is the required oxygen that is chemical oxygen demand for the wastewater is 784 mg per liter or 0.784 grams per liter. The second question over here is 25 ml of sewage water. Over here again we have 25 ml. That means the sewage water or raw water, hard water, impure water and the quantity of it is 25 ml is refluxed with 0.1 normal K2Cr2O7. So they will either give you it in this form or they will say potassium dichromate. Both of them are the same. In presence of H2SO4 and Ag2SO4, the unreacted dichromate required is 5.5 ml of 0.1 normal FAS solution. Blank titration consumed 50 ml of 0.1 normal FAS solution. Calculate the COD of the effluent. So the difference in the volumes of FAS required is 15 minus 5.5 because both the values are given to us. This is 15 over your 5.5. So we'll do 15 minus 5.5, which turns out to be 9.5 ml. Since 1 liter of 1 molar FAS is equals to 8 grams of oxygen, what do they mean by this is this is the general value of it, this is the general formation of it, which we will be using in almost all sums. That means 1 liter of 1 molar FAS requires 8 grams of oxygen. The 9.5 milliliter of 0.1 FAS will require how much? So 9.5 into 0.1 into 8 divided by 1 liter. This is the cross multiplication. This entire term multiplied by this and divided by this. So it will be 8 into 9.5 into 0 0.1 divided by 1000 which comes to 7.96 grams of oxygen for 25 ml of sample. So we are in today's session we studied how to calculate COD, what is COD and how can we calculate it depending on the hard water and the potassium dichromate present in it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.